Columbia River Basin, Part 1. In this study, 1. We will explore the Columbia River, its origin, and its endpoint. 2. We will also delve into the Grand Coulee Dam, which holds the title of the largest power station in the United States. Not only that, but we will have a chance to view a 3D satellite image preview of the dam. 3. This study aims to emphasize the importance of agriculture in the Columbia Basin, particularly by exploring the role of irrigation sprinkler systems in transforming the region into a highly fertile agricultural area in the Northwest. 4. We shall explore a prominent city located within the region, Portland, that is situated on the Columbia River Basin. The Columbia River and the Columbia Basin The Columbia River is an important river in North America. It is over 1,200 miles long and originates in the Rocky Mountains of Canada. The Columbia Basin covers parts of the U.S. and Canada, spanning approximately 250,000 square miles. It includes the Columbia River, its tributaries, and the surrounding land. The Columbia Basin is the fourth largest in North America. There are more than 250 reservoirs and about 150 hydroelectric projects in the basin. This includes 18 mainstream dams on the Columbia River and the Snake River, which is one of its main tributaries. The Columbia River is among the longest rivers in North America. For centuries, it served as a crucial means of transportation for native tribes, contributing significantly to the exploration and establishment of the American West. Currently, the river plays a vital role in generating hydropower, facilitating irrigation, and supporting navigation. Nevertheless, it confronts environmental issues like the destruction of habitats and the endangerment of salmon populations. This slide features a satellite image and a picture of the Grand Coulee Dam. The dam is an enormous structure constructed in the United States from 1933 to 1942. Originally, it had two powerhouses that generated electricity. However, in 1974, a third powerhouse was added to enhance energy production. This expansion led to the Grand Coulee Dam becoming the largest power station in the United States in terms of electricity generation capacity, reaching 6,809 megawatts. The Grand Coulee Dam acts as a powerful mechanism for water storage, allowing for efficient control and management of water resources in the region. The image highlights the vast expanse of the lake, showcasing the enormity of this artificial water body, offering various recreational opportunities and serving as a vital source of hydroelectric power generation. Understanding the significance and impact of grand engineering feats like the Grand Coulee Dam can broaden our knowledge and appreciation for the advancements made in our society. Agriculture The agriculture industry in the Columbia Basin is greatly influenced by a remarkable water reclamation project located in the region. Spanning over 331 miles, this expansive project utilizes canals and sprinkler systems to support agricultural activities, as shown in the accompanying image. The primary water source for these systems is the Columbia River and its tributaries, which are augmented by a series of dams. This project has profoundly transformed agricultural productivity in the area, leading to substantial improvements in crop yields for farmers. As a result, it has played a pivotal role in catalyzing the rapid growth of the agricultural industry in the Pacific Northwest. This image shows sprinkler systems in a certain part of the basin.
pollution. Satellite imagery reveals a significant presence of sprinkler systems in the region, indicating their extensive use in farming practices. However, as agriculture expands, the demand for water and fertilizers increases to enhance crop growth. Unfortunately, the excessive use of fertilizers and chemicals can result in contamination of rivers and soil, leading to pollution. Portland Established in 1888, the city of Portland is located in the state of Oregon and sits near the Willamette River, which is a significant tributary of the Columbia River. As Oregon's largest city, Portland is also in close proximity to the Columbia River, as evident in satellite images. With its plentiful roses, the city has earned the nickname, the City of Roses. In part two of the study, there is a comprehensive explanation regarding the tributaries of the Columbia River. The following tributaries will be discussed in more depth. Flathead River, Clark Fork River, Pend Oriel River, Willamette River, Salmon River, Snake River, and John Day River. In part three of the study, we will be looking at three dams called Chief Joseph, McNary, and Wanapum. This phase involves analyzing satellite images, along with photographs and 3D images of the dams. The aim is to gather comprehensive information and insights about these dams. In part four of the study, we will be examining Priest Rapids Dam, Wells Dam, Rock Island Dam, Albany Falls Dam, Oxbow Dam, Brownlee Dam, Dwarshack Dam, Lucky Peak Dam, and Bonneville Dam. This analysis will include satellite images, as well as photographs and 3D images of these dams.